Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work or exercise our shoulder and bicep muscles. Straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. Now going forward, we are going to still stick to the same exercises or mostly the same exercises which we have been doing till date. We are just going to shuffle the order a little bit to ensure slightly a little bit variation not much we want to do the same exercises repeatedly to build our strength and also the endurance in exercises we don't want to change the entire program itself but at the same time to keep it a little bit exciting we can change the format and one of the first things which i'm going to do is instead of working one muscle continuously and then shifting to the next muscle i'm going to do one muscle and then immediately go to the other muscle you will get to know as we progress in this particular video what I am trying to explain to you. Now post completing my greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat, mandatory. These are few things which I am not going to change. These are the few things which I am going to keep on doing every day on regular basis. Maybe add a couple of drills once in a while like I did today which I am going to show you shortly just to you know improve few things or if I am facing any kind of challenges which you might also be that would help you a little bit so after completing my deep squat i have done a mobility drill so the reason why i'm doing this drill is firstly an excellent warm-up exercise before you start your shoulder workout you simply need to lay down on the floor grab a couple of lightweight plates maybe one kilo or two kilos and with your palms facing up while holding the plates push your palms up basically engaging your entire upper posterior chain your rear delts your shoulders and then once you're done with a few repetitions we start moving them around also as i'm going to show you right now i do this particular type of drills because i'm a regular side sleeper i sleep on my side and i constantly you know put all the pressure on my shoulders while i'm sleeping for a long period of time so these kind of drills help me to open up my ball and socket joint make sure that i don't you know cause any kind of injuries or micro tears while lifting heavy weights or taking my shoulder through a range of motion. So post completing my drill I start with my first exercise that is to work on my rear delts. Now this is a super set wherein we are going to do rear delt raises with both dumbbell and barbells. So to start off with dumbbells you simply put yourself or position yourself on an inclined bench, grab heavy dumbbells, tuck your chin down and start pushing those dumbbells behind your back. Now the reason why I ask you to grab heavy dumbbells is because it's very difficult or highly unlikely that you can cheat in this particular exercise. You may very well go ahead and use the momentum which has been provided by the weights to get the weight back up as far behind as possible. Trust me, you will get a great amount of ray delt activation. Again, thanks to the way our bodies structured the rear delt will get activated a lot more so after completing the dumbbell we immediately switch on to the barbell rear delt raises so we do 20 repetitions of the first bit and then we try to go as many repetitions targeting 20 repetitions at least with a barbell you might fail right around 10 to 15 repetitions that's absolutely fine if you fail before that i would recommend lowering the weight a little bit we want to fail in between 10 to 15 repetitions you do that at least thrice. Now for my next exercise, instead of do continuing with my shoulder muscle, I moved on to my bicep exercise. Again, it's not a new exercise. We just shuffle the order a little bit so that now my shoulders are slightly resting while I'm working on my bicep muscle. So a lot more, I would say, attention to the muscle because I wouldn't be much tired before I jump into my bicep muscle if I have had I completed all my shoulder workouts. It, not, it might not be the case with everyone. Some people might prefer to complete their entire shoulder workout and then go for the biceps. That's absolutely your choice. But otherwise, I am trying this new method to see if it would make any difference. And as of now, it's positive. So I'm going to continue doing so. A simple high cable curls. We are going to do three sets of these, 20 repetitions each hand no break in between position the cable as high as possible turn your body away from your bicep muscle 
away from your so you're creating a stretch at your shoulder joint wherein your bicep is at a stretched position and then you start curling make sure the weight is challenging enough for you to achieve those 20 repetitions post completing my bicep work i moved on to my calf races on the leg press machine now in this particular exercise i chose to do two sets of these 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions wherein i took pauses for few seconds in between in an in and did intervals of sorry five five repetitions in intervals so I added under 20 repetitions so a total of 35 repetitions each set now while you're doing this particular exercise i want you to go as low as possible feel the both the contraction and the eccentric stretch on your calf muscle make sure you take ample amount of rest in between because if you tend to go very quickly in the calf muscle without giving ample amount of break you tend to do half repetitions i want you to go through the full range of motion in terms of your ankle mobility push it as high as possible and go as low as possible so two sets 15 plus pause repetitions after completing my calf work we jump back again into our shoulder work wherein we do cable lateral races three sets 20 repetitions i am doing a cross cable lateral races with the cables running behind my back i am very comfortable in, in this particular posture or positioning in this exercise i feel a lot of activation on my side delts and a little bit on my front delts that's absolutely fine i'm still working on my shoulder so i can be okay with it i like to tuck my chin a little bit forward because i don't want my traps getting involved so keeping my chin down helps me focus a lot more on my shoulder muscle alone make sure the weight is not extremely heavy you want to get to those 20 repetitions in a slow manner like i'm controlling here you can see as i go down i try to control it as much as possible now if you feel any kind of discomfort here is another way of doing it you can just have the cables in front of you instead of behind you it's just in case if you're not very comfortable doing it behind your back for any reason it I don't know how much difference would it make in terms of the loading because I did not feel much but I prefer doing it behind my back because it gives me a little bit of extra stretch. After completing with cable I moved on to lateral races with tumble wherein I have done 10 repetitions each side with a slight elbow bend forward and also my palms facing down. No rest in between so I was switching from one arm to the other instantly what i have not shown in the video is that after completing three sets i went for a failure set wherein i have grabbed dumbbells with both my hands and tried to rep out as many repetitions as possible just as a finisher because i felt i chose a lighter weight i could have gone with a heavier dumbbell but to compensate that i just did an extra set so you might want to do that also but it's three sets 10 repetitions after completing the cable without any break should be more than good enough to fire up your side delts i don't know if you could notice it i had a really good pump going on in my shoulders as of now so i was really happy with the set and the way i could execute it i like to keep my elbow slightly bent because that makes sure that you know the load is not on my elbow if i keep my arms absolutely straight and i can focus on my delt alone after completing the lateral races i moved on to regular barbell curls wherein I have done two sets, 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions. So 5555, five, 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 uh, total 35 repetitions with a 60 second break in between. Simple, easy bubble curls, nothing magical. Just keep your elbows near you, take a medium width, just your shoulder width and start curling the weight. Control the weight as much as possible. Don't go so heavy that you start bending your back or bending forward. You want to stand straight and keep curling. Now, after completing the regular barbell curls, I moved on to reverse grip barbell curls. So, make sure you want, uh, want to get those 5-5 five, five repetitions as close to 35 to 40 mark. If you're failing way before, that means you have taken a weight which is really heavy. So, you want to keep that weight in check so that you're able to achieve your 30, uh, 35 repetition mark with pauses in between for reverse grip you may prefer to use straps or gloves if you feel a little bit of discomfort you may also want to use a easy bar 
for me, I'm completely fine with a straight bar. It gives me a lot more activation in my forearms, which is also the muscle we are slightly targeting here. So go ahead and start repping out as much as possible. You will get tired in this particular way because your biceps are now getting overloaded with a lot of volume. So you would want to take a break, which is about 60 to 90 seconds in between. Just shake it off, have some water, hydrate yourself and then keep going. Make sure you get as many clean repetitions as possible. Full range of motion. Every time come up, go down completely. You don't want to just come slightly up or do a partial rep as we call it. Now as you come closer to your failure, yes, your biceps wouldn't let you do this reps, clean reps as you can see. But that's absolutely fine. We have achieved our objective. Now post completing the barbell curls, I moved on to pronated grip overhead press. Position yourself on an incline bench, pronate your wrist inwards. So slightly pronation, slight activation of your biceps. So basically as you turn your wrist in, your biceps get slightly activated and from there you start doing your overhead press. You need not go completely all the way up because again, we the delt starts working only in that range of motion. If you want to go completely up, that's your tricep doing the work in terms of your elbow extension. We just want the weight to push up with our front delts as much as possible. You would feel a little bit of soreness or tightness thanks to this all the shoulder work we have already done till now. So three sets of these 10 repetitions with a smaller break 30 to 45 seconds break because here we are comfortably seated we are well supported and we are doing a very controlled range of motion. So a smaller break should be sufficient for you to complete the exercise. We'll be closing with this particular exercise. This would be the last exercise. So essentially we have worked our shoulders, our biceps and a little bit of calf work. So now we are going to do a little bit of core work too. And in this reason why I chose to do hanging leg raises is because it also helps me decompress my shoulders because I'm hanging and also creates a stretch in my bicep muscle. Again, we are hanging at the same time. I'm also working on my core. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like the video. Please do like, subscribe to the channel. Have any feedback, please drop a comment. And I also hope you did have a good workout. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.